Hi guys, Steph here. Now, here's one of my pens from my Sunday pen haul. Now, well, nice and simple. It does what it says on the box. It's a cross pen. If we turn it over there, it says cross ballpoint and fountain pen, stylo black noir. Okay, so it's got a little label. Now, if we open it up, there we have a cross fountain pen and a ballpoint set comes with the cross instructions so we won't go through them and what we have for you let's take him out of the case as you can hear there it's a sprung loaded case let's move the instructions and let's show you the ballpoint first of all um, it's a well actually the model of these two particular pens it's a fountain pen and a ballpoint this is the cross Dubai model and I believe they came in well I know I've seen them in blue and obviously in this black uh, lovely lacquered finish they're, they're quite a heavy as you would expect from cross now the cross pens again they're like a little bit of a marmite pen you either love them or you hate them um, but saying that there's there's people out there that actually do collect cross fountain pens i do have um quite an old set in my collection but um these these are a little bit too too modern for me so as i say we've got the ballpoint there so let's put that to one side and sort of concentrate on the on the fountain pen the size of the fountain pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel about 133 millimeters in diameter and it's got this sort of tapered barrel and to the to the top there near the cap around about 13 millimeters in diameter you can see it's got this sort of chrome end to the end of the barrel there and well the chrome trim is everywhere you can see just to the bottom of the cap there we've got a chrome cap band and we've got a chrome cross clip to the very top there and you can see the word on the clip says cross and then to the very top there you can see this well the top of the cap again has this crop uh, chrome stud if you like so all in all again this black lacquer is absolutely lovely quite a heavy pen as well so you know if you're looking for a light pen then this this isn't the pen for you they are they are quite heavy pens because the majority of them are made are made of metal um i do believe that dubai the cross dubai set like these uh were actually sold well in department stores um stationers etc so if we take the cap off which oh, is quite stiff on this because the pen has never actually been used let's give you a little bit of a twirl there so as you can see you can see shiny chrome everywhere the section there this quite elongated section uh goes to a it sort of thins down towards the nib there is in chrome and if we show you the nib and again in my opinion you know the cross nibs i think are very attractive it's a stainless steel cross nib if we give you a sideways view there you can see the feed underneath and if we show the feed there okay you can see a lovely lovely feed underneath so all in all a nice pen the only thing wrong is we you know with, with the section being chrome um it's quite slippy but it's still a nice size pen for me personally with large hands it it fits quite comfortably and it is a nice weight once you actually take take the cap off now if i unscrew the barrel this pen i believe well as you can see there it's got a cartridge ready for someone to simply turn it round and pop it back in ready to write um i think don't quote me but it may take a converter a cross converter but as you can see it's fitted with a cartridge so at the moment we're just going to term it as a cartridge pen but yeah i'm sure you can get the converter and if it fits with if it fits the cartridge i'm sure it'll fit the converter now as i said earlier this pen has never actually been inked so i'm not going to pop the cartridge in 
all I'm going to do is just do a simple we're just going to simply dip dip the pen in the ink or should I say the nib and let's just see how it writes so what we've got is a cross um, this one is the Dubai um, I don't know what date it is to be honest I, well, I'm going to just say the 1990s I don't believe it's actually still available so I think it's actually a discontinued model it's writing with a medium a medium line and to be perfectly honest with you it's actually a very nice writer so I know some people don't like the cross pens but it's a very nice writer it's, it's a smooth writer there's no flexibility obviously as you'd expect from a stainless steel nib but all in all a lovely lovely writer now the ballpoint is just a twist mechanism and as we can see that's also in full working order they've got a cartridge inside so that works fine but the fountain pen as I say with the cross nib I mean I do like the cross nibs myself I do think they, they are sort of very much underrated it's a lovely writer very smooth there we go and the cap clicks back on as it should so I'm going to leave it quite short because as I say they are a little bit on the modern side for me but you know that some people don't like cross some people you know there is actually a following out there that people that like them so all in all for an economy sort of low-end pen I would say you're not going to go far wrong with these so what we're going to do is leave it at that uh, we'll make them available somebody will buy them and somebody will enjoy them um, and I hope you've enjoyed looking at them as much as I enjoy showing them to you people leave a comment but for now I'm just going to say bye bye